Hey everybody, today on Rado, we're running through Marvel Zombies, a Zombicide game. But before we begin, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that if I make any rules goofs, you know what they are. And y'all know me, I'm Shay Parker, and I've covered a fair few Marvel games on the channel in recent months. It's no surprise, I'm a Marvel fan, so I find out that there is a Zombicide version of the Marvel Zombies, or I should say Marvel Zombies version of the Zombicide game. Um, I was interested. I was a big fan of the Marvel Zombies comic, uh, so I was really excited to take a look. So let's dive in and look at Marvel Zombies, a Zombicide game. In this game, we are playing as the zombified versions of our favorite heroes. So I've got Zombie Hulk, Zombie Captain Marvel, and Zombie Iron Man. We're starting right here. And the way that this game, like a lot of Zombicide games works, uh, Zombicide's games work, is that I've got different missions that I'm playing through. In this mission, uh, I am going after Avengers Tower. So I've gotten this map layout, I've gotten some different objectives that I'm going for. In this case, I'm trying to break into Avengers Tower. It's got communication tech that I think I want. Because, yes, we're zombies, but in this world, the zombie virus doesn't immediately turn us into mindless, you know, uh, ravenous hordes. Ravenous, sure, but that's not our only outfit. You know, we're, we are hungry, we are going to need to eat, but when we eat, it kind of gives us a moment of clarity. We have a bit of, you know, reason to us. And the others, these non-zombified people just don't get it. So we're gonna need to break into Avengers Tower, steal some of their equipment, and escape. And of course, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. is not going to be happy about that. They are going to uh, just, they're going to respond to our attacks uh, pretty much in mass and uh, gonna try to stop us. So on the way, we are going to have to fight them off, unfortunately. You know, it's it's a shame we have to kill these all these poor S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, but we're gonna. And uh, sometimes we're gonna have to devour them as well. Now, our, our goal, we do want to break into Avengers Tower. We know that there is a bystander in one of these buildings that has a key card. So one of these green cards is going to have a bystander, or they're all gonna have bystanders. One of them is gonna have a special bystander and they are gonna have the key card. We're gonna need to devour them and once we've done that, we will be able to open these doors that go into uh, the Avengers Tower and get the objective tokens. But until we do that, uh, we can't go to this side of the map, really. So at the beginning of the game, our goal is to get into these buildings and, you know, fight off the uh, little guards that are going to be inside. And, you know, uh, we're going to try to survive in general. So we've got our heroes. Each of them has five hit points. And uh, our hunger meter is at zero. But at the beginning of each round, the thing that we do is we raise our hunger levels. So the way this game is will go is we've got the hero turns. Each hero, or uh, zombie, zombie hero, each zombie hero will take uh, their turn in full. They start with three actions. Though once we level up, we'll get to four actions. And then uh, after, each hero, after each zombie hero has taken their turn, the agents are going to respond. They're gonna spawn, or they're going to try to attack us. They're gonna spawn at the different spawn points. And then we're gonna keep going as such. Uh, there are a few mission-specific objectives, things like uh, XP triggers for when we devour uh, bystanders or pick up objective tokens, stuff like that. But we're going to get into that as we go. I should also mention that this is not part of the game. This is mine. It's just a handy tray for me to roll dice in so they don't go flying over because we're going to have a lot of these units on the board. So, at the start of the game, I need to get into these locations. And what, I'm, what we're really looking for is the one bystander that has the key. But also, it's useful for us to kill uh, agents because every time we kill agents, we're gonna gain some XP. We've got XP trackers down here. It's sort of uh, measuring the threat level because as we level up, that's going to increase the response from the agents. So we gotta balance that a little bit. But right now, I'm trying to think of how we're gonna get through. You know, we've got two, uh, two agents in here only one agent in here. So every time we open a door, because that's an action that we can do, we are going to reveal what's inside and those agents are going to come and try to attack us, depending on what these cards show. So my thought is maybe we wanna go for this one. This is a bigger group at the beginning, but I think we can handle it. Plus it's just one spot away. We can open the door and immediately start attacking. But I think Iron Man should be the one to do that. 
Now, the reason I'm doing that is because Captain Marvel and Hulk, they have melee attacks. Uh, if we want to take a look at, say, Captain Marvel here, Captain Marvel's got melee attacks. She's got mighty punches, and they're great. I'm rolling two dice, hitting on threes or higher, but the range is zero, whereas Iron Man has a range of one, so he can actually hit people from far away. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start with Iron Man, take one action to go to this space. These grid, uh, these like street crosswalks are delineating spaces in this map. Um, and then I'm going to spend another action to open this door. So I'll take one of these broken door tokens to show that this door is, is open. We're zombies, we can't be bothered with door handles anymore. We're just gonna bust down the door. And once I do that, that's gonna reveal everything in this room. So let's start with the agents. Uh, I've got, so most of the time these cards are going to reveal agents. In this case, this is an activation card. If there were specialists on the board, they would be activated, but there aren't specialists on the board. So this card does nothing. Very lucky for us there. The next card, oh, here we go though. This is troopers. So there are four troopers in this room. And uh, because and the reason there are four, not six, eight, or ten, is because we are all currently at our blue threat level. If at even one of us was higher, we would go up to uh, the yellow or the orange or whatever it is to match. So I now need to take four troopers and place them into this location. Now that's all well and good, but I actually would have preferred it if that was swapped, because Iron Man can't target them. You know, his range is one, so he could get into this room, but he couldn't be able to uh, to go there. And so, uh, we've got, uh, Iron Man has one more action, and there's no enemies to, to face at the moment, so instead of, you know, moving in and, you know, being a target, it's not a horrible idea, but uh, for now, I think it's better not to. So instead, I'm going to draw a zombie trait. This is sort of replacing the item system in previous zombie games. At any point, as an action, well, once per uh, you know player turn, you can uh, pull a zombie trait. These are one-time use abilities that will, and we can you know spend you know, during our turn or however it says. So for example, I just drew rotten strength. Discard before attacking. Let's say discard before attacking, and perform uh, a. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. This is tiny text, and I put my green screen way too far away. You've probably been able to read that, but I haven't. So discard before attacking and increase hunger. Enemies suffer minus one toughness to a minimum of one. It's pretty handy when we're going up against bigger enemies. These guys, they have a toughness of one. Toughness is hit points. Most of the minions that we're facing, toughness of one. These big guards, they'll have a toughness of two. So that's a good way to deal with them or to deal with superheroes because superheroes might be showing up. Anyway, there's one more thing to reveal and that is the bystander. Oh, wow, okay. So 25% chance, I just drew the secret mission. Um, this is the one with the key card. I promise I did, not, uh, I did not set it up like this. So because this is a special one, I'm gonna need to draw another one. Uh, and this is Betty Ross. So there are a, there's a small deck of little bystander cards. These are familiar people from the Marvel Universe. And uh, the, this one, Betty Ross, well, I need to find the matching, uh, matching mini for her. Each of these has a different ability. It's not an ability that they are able to do, it's an ability that we will get if we devour them. So that's definitely on our agenda. Now, I should have uh, revealed them before I drew this uh, Rotten Strength card, but that's okay. So Betty Ross is here, Betty Ross has the key card. We need to devour Betty Ross, take the key card, and then we can get into Avengers Tower. And that was Iron Man's turn. So I'm gonna flip over this little token just to show that They've gone, and now we've got Hulk and Captain Marvel. So, Captain Marvel could go one, two, three, and get into the space of the troopers, but wouldn't be able to attack. And you don't want to end your space in a uh, end your turn in a space with enemies. So, this is honestly not the best position for us. It, it would have been better if if these guys were here because we could you know actually attack them. As it is, we can move in to Betty Ross's space, but she's gonna be trying to get towards the X, these spawn points. And if she can get to the spawn point, she'll disappear. So we, we don't want that. Of course, she's gonna have to go through us, but it does mean that we're kind of setting up a barrier. Well, there's another one though. Another thing I could do is this one all the way at the end there, 
This is and if we devour bystanders, we can get XP. We'll get a boatload of XP. So now that we know that this is here, it might be prudent for one of us to go up there and try to uh, devour that one as well. Doing a similar thing, I think we're gonna have, I think we're gonna have the, let's see. Let's go Captain Marvel, I guess. Go up one with Captain Marvel. We'll break down the door again. Reveal. Ooh, okay. So this one's different. Uh, rescued, instead of spawning a bystander, draw a spawn card for this zone. Okay, so instead, yeah, instead of drawing a bystander, it's gonna be enemies. Not ideal. Um, so I've got a stack of enemy cards and we draw some specialists. So now I need to get two specialists out here. Specialists are fast movers. Normally the uh, opponents, they can just move or attack. These guys have two activations, so they can attack twice, they can move twice, or they can move and attack. So I don't wanna be in this space when they get there, but they are gonna move to me, and that's fine by me, because then I'll be able to attack them when they get into my space. And, and just like Iron Man, I'm gonna prepare for that by drawing a zombie trait card. So I got Lunge, I can discard during my turn and increase my hunger. A lot of these cards allow you to increase your hunger in order to get a benefit. And then it lets me move up to one zone, ignoring enemies, which is good because uh, if there's enemies in your space, it's harder to move out. And then I perform one free devour attack. So we each have our own individual attacks, but we also have devour, which is sort of a, a special kind of attack that is going to lower our hunger. Now hunger is useful. It actually increases the amount of dice we roll every time we attack. But if our hunger goes to maximum, we become ravenous. And the only things we can do are move and devour. We can't do any of our other abilities. Um, although sometimes we can use the uh, zombie trait cards. Okay, so that's Captain Marvel's turn. I've just got uh, the Hulk. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I wanna do. I think I might just prepare by having the Hulk go one, two, and there's a, a slight danger here. There's a couple cards that might come up with uh, the enemy cards that will allow the troopers to like shoot me with guns from a space away, but those are pretty rare, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just moving into position, and then I'm gonna grab a zombie trait as well. In the beginning, powering up is, is a fairly useful thing to do. Uh, I've got submit to hunger. Discard during my turn, increase hunger by any amount, but I can ignore ravenous for this turn. So that's not bad if I'm, you know, if I'm close to being ravenous or if I just really need to get something done. Um, but anyway, that's, you know, three actions for each of my players. So we've all taken our turns. I'm gonna flip these over. And now it is time for the enemies to go. They are first, all the enemies on the, on the board are gonna move and then we're gonna spawn at these two red spawn points. Now there's also these blue and the green spawn points. Oh, you know what? Those activated as soon as the secret, uh, you know, mission card was revealed. So actually, we are going to be spawning from all four locations. And you're gonna see how quickly this board will start to fill up, even at low level. So, we are starting by moving. Uh, we can move specialists first, I guess. They have two activations, like I said. An activation can either be move or attack, so they're gonna go move, move. Now they're in space with Captain Marvel. And it's fortunate that we already drew the uh, specialist extra activation. I think there's only one of those in the deck, which means that these uh, specialists are not gonna be able to attack Captain Marvel in her space. But these troopers, they're gonna move one space, they're gonna go into the Hulk, uh, into the Hulk space, but they're slow. They just have move or attack, they can't do both. So that's that. Now we're gonna be spawning at all of these locations. So starting here, we've got a guard rush. They get to spawn and then activate. So we get two guards spawning and then activating. Now, even though it's technically a more direct route to go here, they can't open doors. No one can open doors but us. So we just go that way. They spawned and activated. Oh yeah, I forgot to move Betsy Ross. She should be moving in this way as well. Now she, she, she moved into this space, but she cannot be directly attacked. Um, we have to kill all the troopers first and then we can devour her but there's sort of a priority for targeting enemies. So those troopers or those guards moved in. Up there, we've got more specialists. So two specialists show up up there. In the top right, we've got an escorted bystander. So we spawn a bystander and one guard. 
And the bystander is going to be J. Jonah Jameson. Here we go, J. Jonah with a guard. Now, this, I'm going to leave this out somewhere. I'm going to put that just like right here to remind myself that J. Jonah is escorted because, again, we have to attack the guards first. That one's going to be moving around, going to be kind of going towards us the same way that, you know, the uh, enemies would do. But there is a bystander there. If we can destroy the guard and devour the bystander in the same turn, uh, then, you know, fantastic. We get all the XP for killing the bystander. But if we only kill the guard, uh, the another guard will spawn at the end of the turn. So sort of like a, a, a bit of a bonus there if we can pull it off. And lastly, in this spawn point, we've got a superhero. So a superhero is spawning. Who is it going to be? We'll draw from the superhero deck, and it is the Scarlet Witch. So the Scarlet Witch is going to have three hit points, and she's got a special ability. Zombie heroes in her zone must re-roll all hits. Uh, I'm going to put this... Let's put that there, just as a reminder. Um, so we've got Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch comes in all the way over here. So it is a lot more difficult to kill Scarlet Witch with melee attacks. With ranged attacks, it's easier. But we need to do three damage worth of hits. So, you know, there's there's a toughness to it. Now, the Hulk is good at dealing with heroes. Enemies have minus one toughness against your attacks. So she has three toughness. It's actually two against the Hulk. So the Hulk is probably going to be the one to attack. But re-rolling hits is a big deal. Um, and I think that's, that's just with the first roll. So it's not like you have to keep re-rolling hits or anything like that. Okay, that is the end of the uh, the enemy turn. So it's back to us zombie heroes. Now we've got all of these uh, these you know zombies here. I could start with the Hulk, but I think it's actually gonna be better to start with Iron Man. Iron Man has a ranged attack, can target these guards, and oh sorry, first thing that happens is we increase our hunger. And so, we're gonna be attacking the guards. Iron Man has a special ability, which is Repulsor Blasts. After attacking with the Missile Wave, which is the normal attack, uh, I can push uh, enemies, I can push all enemies in the zone into an adjacent zone. So the thought is, oh, hold on, this would probably affect the bystander as well, and I don't know if I want that. Maybe I do, though kind of getting us in this direction anyway. But the Hulk is currently in the space. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hmm. But I could attack and then move and attack these guys. No, I... I it's it's tricky because I, I, I really do want to be able to um, devour this bystander. It's, it's tricky. And Betsy, Betty Ross will allow us to move an extra zone while moving. That's her ability. Who wants to get that? I think, I actually think Hulk should get Betty Ross. Okay, I've decided. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to start with Hulk. Hulk is going to attack these guards. So, Hulk smash, normally rolling three dice. Hulk's hunger is at two. So we're going to add two dice to that. Rolling five dice. And hitting on fours or better, I rolled so unbelievably well. <laughs> six, six, five, six, five. Uh, that's going to kill everyone. Now, that's five hits. There are five units in here, but weapon attacks can only target uh, the, you know, the regular units. They can't target bystanders. In order to hit a bystander, I need to devour. So... That was great. I killed four units. There are four basic units, so I'm going to get four XP. And now I get to devour. I'm going to devour Betty Ross. I think that makes sense. Isn't Betty Ross the daughter of like Thunderbolt Ross? That's like a, a Hulk, you know, that's in the Hulk milieu. Milieu? Milieu? Whatever. In, in the Hulk universe, in the Hulkverse. So uh, this is a sad moment. But I'm going to devour her. Devouring only has one die to start with, but I get the extra two dice for my hunger. I'm trying to hit on a four or higher, so let's see if this can do just as well as the last one. Yeah, I got a five and a six. Just need one hit. 
Betty Ross is devoured. Chomp, chomp, chomp. And now I take the Betty Ross card. That gets slotted into my little player board, and now I have this ability, when moving, I may increase my hunger to move one, uh, one extra zone. So, I have this, I also have this secret mission card. I'm just gonna, uh, just gonna put it right here for now. But this is basically saying to us that these doors, the blue and the green doors over here, these have unlocked. And in the mission, it specifically says this red door, you can't move through it. Um, but these two doors have unlocked, and now our goal is to get this equipment in the corners. So we need to make our way over there. But one thing that's happened is after I devoured Betty Ross, I got five XP for that. So I'm going from four to nine. There we go, to nine XP. So now I have plus one actions. The thing that is shown on all of the little hero cards, plus one action when you get to the yellow uh, zone there. So I now have four actions instead of three. I spent one to attack, another one to devour, so I have two more actions. Definitely wanna move up. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to attack these guys. Uh, so I'm just moving up one space. Oh, the other thing that happens is when you devour, when you successfully devour someone, your hunger goes down to zero. It makes sense. Your belly's full. Uh, with Betty Ross, I can increase my hunger to move one zone, and increasing hunger is not a bad thing. So I think I'm gonna do that to be one zone forward. I could. Well, I can't attack anyone. I don't necessarily want to be adjacent to these guys. So I think, hmm, mm hmm, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna move one, one more space forward. I'm gonna head in this direction, and sort of see where we go with that. Uh, the other thing I could do is I could get a zombie trait, but I'm kind of okay with, with where I'm at currently. So that is the Hulk, Hulk's done. Who do I wanna go next? I think Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel's got some specialists in her space and I am, 100% confident we're gonna be able to take care, take them out. Mm, do we want to try? No, I think let's let's move towards our objective. It, it, it's enticing to try and defeat all of the enemies that come, but they're just gonna keep coming. And it's also kind of useful for them to clump up because in this specific scenario, we've got the Avengers uh, Tower shield, the Avengers sign uh, that has fallen off the building. I know it looks like it's over there, it's not, it's actually right here. And this is like a frisbee that I can throw and it's really useful against large clumps of enemies. So I don't mind if they, if they clump up. So, with Captain Marvel, I'm gonna first do an attack on these specialists. So she's got her mighty punches, rolling two dice, plus two because of her current hunger level. And her special ability is energy blast. Each time I attack with mighty punches, I may eliminate one trooper or specialist in my zone. So guaranteed, one of those specialists is gonna die. Even if all of these come up bites, that's gonna be fine. But it doesn't matter. I'm rolling so well in this game. Maybe I should just try and knock all of these units out. So I've killed both of these two specialists. I get two XP. Now the thing that hasn't happened yet, but can happen, is I can roll, in this game, ones, uh, are bites. So if I roll bites, these immediately increase my hunger. And if I, so if I roll enough of them, I can immediately become ravenous and I don't want that to happen. Or sometimes I do, but generally it's, it's not what I'm going for. But anyway, that was uh, one action. I've got two left. I was really hoping to get a special, or to get a bystander out of this, but I think for now, let's just go one, two. And I think that's fine for now. We'll, we'll hang out here where it's good to be, you know, in one space together. I think that's a safer position to be in. And now Iron Man's gonna go. Iron Man's gonna take one move. Let's see, I could, I could attack and use my Rotten Strength. I've got Rotten Strength right now, which is, I, I increase my toughness, or increase my hunger to reduce the enemy toughness by one. Now these guys have a toughness of two. So reducing them by one means they're just the same as regular guards. And that might be good because I can attack them from where I am. I'd be rolling what, five dice, but I would need four hits in order to kill them. So I'm going to use my Rotten Strength, discarding the card because these are one-time use abilities. I increase my hunger. So now I'm actually rolling another die and I only need two hits to kill these guys. Uh, oh boy, 
Well, I got exactly two hits because I'm for, uh, for this, if I need fours or higher. And I rolled a four and a five, and the rest were lower. So actually, that was a great thing, a great thing for me to have done because um, that's exactly how dice work. If I hadn't done that, it would have been exactly the same. Uh, everyone knows that. So anyway, these two guys are down. Uh, again, they're just regular shield agents, so they're just going to get me one XP each. I'm up to two XP. Uh, that was uh, surprisingly effective. Well, actually, no, I was, that was uh, surprisingly almost ineffective, but it was all right. So I finished that. That was one, two, and you know what? Let's all hang out in the same spot. Um, we're huddling up back to back, but on the next turn, because hunger increases every turn, Iron Man is going to be ravenous. Ooh, that is going to be tricky. But we'll, we're going to make it. We're going to make it together. We're going to make it through this as a team, as a Marvel zombie team. But anyway, that's the end for Iron Man. The Iron Man is gone, and now it is time for the uh, opponents to go. So we've got a few people on the board. The specialists. Let's go. Start with them. Go clockwise. Uh, actually, you might start with the heroes. In this case, it doesn't matter because uh, heroes are like specialists. They have two activations. Scarlet Witch is going to go one, two. She's now just in our space. Specialists are going to go one, two as well. And the guard and Jay Jonah, they're just going to move one space. And uh, now we need to spawn. So at spawn location number one, we've got... So troopers now, instead of spawning two troopers, because I uh, because the Hulk is in the yellow zone over here, we're just spawning four. So the troopers are, are swarming in as they do. I know this is not... I know we're the zombies in this game. But these shield agents, once they get going, there's a lot of them, as you can see. They are going to swarm the board. Anyway, up top, we've got, yeah, six more troopers. Oh, boy. If we ever run out, that is a problem. You place as many as you can, and then you activate all of the units of that type. It's not something you want. Top right, we've got, oh boy, another superhero's coming out. I was hoping that we wouldn't have two superheroes at the same time, but we do. And the next superhero is Black Panther. Black Panther has got four health, performs a number of activations, a number of actions per activation equal to one plus the highest danger level amongst the zombie heroes. Okay, our danger level is two. So two to five actions, oh no, one plus, oh boy. The number of actions per activation. So uh, minimum of two, but we're actually gonna do three actions. Whenever Black Panther, uh, whenever Black Panther activates, it's gonna get three actions instead of uh, just two. And as we get stronger, if we haven't you know, dealt with him by then, uh, let's see, I'll put the, uh, it, you know, that's, it's just gonna get more and more, uh, it's gonna do more and more. So, that was the top right. Now we got one more spawn location and no, no, no. <sighs> so all superheroes get to activate. If we were still in the blue, this would be nothing, but all superheroes are activating. They get an extra activation. And like we just said, Black Panther gets three activations. So uh, Scarlet Witch, because normally superheroes get two activations. She moves in one space and then she attacks us. So we need to uh, put one damage on one of our heroes. She's not hitting all of us, just hitting one. And we choose who that's gonna be. And I think, I know that Hulk is going to get in scraps with heroes. I don't necessarily want to uh, put much damage on him right now. I think I'm gonna put it on Iron Man because Iron Man's normally ranged anyway. So I'm hoping that he won't be in the in the scrap uh, that much in general. But Black Panther moves in, one, two, three, and is also in our space. This is a problem because it's more difficult for us to leave a space with heroes in it. Oh boy, okay. That's the situation. How are we gonna deal with it? Well, on our turn, first thing that happens, hunger goes up. This is actually not a bad position to be in because we are now at pretty much as strong as we can be. Iron Man here, well, he's only got, uh, he can only devour, because Iron Man is now ravenous. Uh, his hunger is at maximum, which means the only actions he can do are move and do the devour attack. But I wonder if that's not a bad thing. So with devour, I'm gonna be rolling five dice, because it's four for the hunger and one for the attack. 
hitting on fours or higher, I could go after Scarlet Witch because she has only three health. And if I don't succeed, I can basically just try three times. That might be a good thing for me to do. It'll hopefully take her out, reduce my hunger to zero when it happens, and you know put us in a, in a decent position. And if I can take her out, um, you know, before the <laughs> before my third attack, I will also be able to attack these specialists that have creeped up. So I think that's what I'm going to start with. Iron Man's going to go rolling five dice. That is three hits. I got a four, a four, a six. I also got a two and a bite. The bite's not going to do anything because my hunger's already at maximum. So with those three hits, I've taken out Scarlet Witch. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. I have to reroll all hits. Because Scarlet Witch's special ability is when you're in her space, you gotta reroll all hits. I didn't think this through well enough. So rerolling all those hits, I didn't do it. Okay. We might be in a pickle, folks. Let's try this again. Because we've committed to this this uh, choice of this course of action. So uh, let's try it again. That was not even enough hits to do it. That was my second attack. And my third attack. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's do it. No. Okay. Admittedly, I did this in the, in the wrong order. Uh, I, I, I really should have done Hulk first. Um, so that was Iron Man's turn. That was bad. Okay. Let's try and get the Hulk in. Hulk is going to do a smash. Also rolling five. Also hitting four, four and up. But enemies have minus one toughness uh, against my attacks. So I only need two hits instead of three. So Hulk. And also Hulk has uh, an extra action. So we're going to start with Hulk. Rolling five dice. We've got one hit. I guess I used up all my good rolls in the beginning because this is not going great. All right, second action. Okay, much better. I got four hits. Now I do need to re-roll them uh, because of Scarlet Witch, but re-rolling with four dice, I only need two hits. Probability says that this should work. Probability is a dick because I got one hit, and but I increased my hunger. I don't know if I increased my hunger on the last one. I'm, I don't remember if I got a bite on the last roll. Let's say I didn't, because uh, I don't know. Uh, Paul will tell me if I did. I honestly might have, but let's just say I didn't. Uh, action three, I get an extra die now because my hunger is, is higher. Um, so let's try this again. Rolling all my dice. Okay, that's, again, four hits. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus. This is not going well for me, folks. This is going real poorly. Didn't roll any things. Okay. I'm going to submit to hunger. Discard during my turn. Increase my hunger by any amount. Ignore Ravenous this turn. So, I'm increasing my hunger to four. Still doing a smash because I uh, currently, do, which I, I actually need an extra die for this. I only have six. Your most, most cases, that's all you'll ever need. Well, kind of. Uh, I need seven dice. So let's roll these six first, see what happens. Okay, three hits. Boy, this is, this is rough. And that seventh die is... <sighs> Folks, I need this. Folks, let me tell you, how much I need this? I need this. <laughs> Sometimes that's how it goes. I didn't get it. That was my fourth attack with Hulk. I didn't get it. So how are we gonna do this? Well, Captain Marvel's gotta go. Captain Marvel's in a different position. Now, okay, a thing we could do, is we could escape. We could try and leave. Now, <sighs> In order to leave a space with enemies in it, costs an extra action per move. So all Captain Marvel would do is move. Move one space, that's her whole action. I don't think it's worth it. I think we gotta stick with this. At the very least, we gotta take out Scarlet Witch. Once we do that, we might be able to take out Black Panther. We'll still be distributing hits, so we won't be in that, big of a uh, that bad of a position. I think it was a good idea for me to have clumped up like this, 
The dice have just not been going well for me. So, mighty punches. Normally three, rolling two extra because of my, sorry, normally two, rolling three extra because of my hunger. But I'm hitting on threes and higher for this one. That's how you do it. Five hits. Yes, we have to reroll them because Scarlet Witch is annoying, but rerolling all of my dice. And we did it. Okay, folks, we did it. We got three hits. So, Scarlet Witch is down. Three health, three hits. And as you've noticed, you don't track damage. It's just, you gotta, you gotta deal all the damage in one hit. They're superheroes. They're not just gonna be whittled down like a chump. So, did three damage, got, uh, and because it had three toughness, with superheroes, you gain XP equal to their toughness. So one, two, three, puts me at five XP. Would be nice if I actually got uh, higher. But here's a problem. Now, I got bites as well. So I increased my hunger to four. So my only chance here, because I only have one more action. Wait, no, I have two more actions. Hmm. I could move, but I want to roll the dice. Because, you know, things have been going so great for me. I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to try and take out Black Panther. It's possible. It's not super likely, but it's possible. I just need to get four hits out of these five dice. Let's see if I can do it. And I got two attacks. Because I've only done one so far. I've got two attacks to do it. And I have to use my Devour. I can't use Mighty Punches anymore. But if I do this, I'll Devour him. I'll get XP. And that'll give me another action, too. Ooh. Nice. I do like that. Um, yeah. Oh. The other thing, though, I do have Lunge. This, if, if instead of going after Black Panther, I wanted to, say, go after uh, the specialist over here, I could lunge and then perform a free devour attack. Uh, ooh. Okay, but here's the thing. Black Panther is going to attack three times. If we can take him out, all we're going to get attacked by is the specialist. They're going to move in. They're both going to attack us. We'll get attacked two times. Oh, but if we don't take him out, then Black Panther's going to, uh, then we're gonna get attacked five times. Still spread out. It's tricky, it's rough, it's tough. I don't love it. But next turn, Hulk will be able to attack Black Panther and we'll be in a much better position. And the strongest one there is, the, the ability is still gonna affect, even though we're doing a devour. I'm gonna try and devour Black Panther. Look, he's a big tasty treat. I want to go for it. Rolling five dice, hitting on fours or higher. We got not even close. So that was one attack. Let's try it again. This time, this time we did it, folks. Four, four, five, five. That's it, what I needed. Black Panther is down. Uh, okay, so Black Panther's down. Four XP for Captain Marvel. Puts her up to nine, which means she's got one more action. I could go again if I really wanted to. Now, my hunger has been sated. That's down to zero. I think I forgot to, uh, who did I sate? What happened here? I think Hulk devoured. I think Hulk devoured. No, Hulk didn't do anything. It was Captain Marvel that did all of this. The boys, scrubs. Captain Marvel holding the team. Uh, okay. They're both at max hunger. Captain Marvel's at nothing. I could lunge after these specialists. Unfortunately, her energy blast only works when I'm doing a mighty punches attack, and lunge would get me a free devour attack. So, I, you know, I might be able to take out one of them, but then two of them would attack me. As it is now, they'll go in, they'll do one attack to both of us. Um, I've got one action left. I think I'm going to get a, another zombie trait. I want to stay close. We'll be able to spread the damage around. And we've got Feast. Discard when performing a Devour attack. This attack may eliminate more than one enemy. So uh, a thing I have forgotten to mention, but is important to note, when you're Devouring, you only get to kill one thing. Other attacks can kill multitudes, but Devour can only kill one enemy. So <laughs> that was my turn. We didn't move around. We didn't, uh, you know, do that much for them, but uh, we were able to take out two heroes. I think that is a pretty big deal. Uh, so, 
Let's keep going with this. We've let's do. I think let's do another round. Let's see how it goes. But first off, we've got to have the enemies come in. So the specialists, they are going to move in and attack. They each attack one, deal one damage. Let's. Well, Hulk and Captain Marvel haven't taken any damage. So let's split it amongst them. The guard's going to move in. All of these folks are going to move in, and then we're spawning new ones. Spawn point one. We've got a guard rush. Spawn and then activate. Now we're only activating the guards that come in, I believe. So these guards come in and then they move forward. That's fine. Uh, up next, we've got, up there, we've got troopers. Three troopers coming in because we're on the yellow zone. Three troopers. Top right, we've got a guard rush again. Two guards and then they activate. We are running a little low on guards. Guards get there and bottom right here, We've got more guards. Oh no. Okay, we really need to take out some of these guards because we do still have a few guard pieces left, but there's more than I would uh, care to admit. Okay, so at the beginning of the turn, everyone's got to increase their hunger. Iron Man and Hulk are both at max hunger. That's not great. It's not, it's not ideal. I think I gotta start with Captain Marvel though because she's really good at taking out specialists and she can take them both out in one attack. Her mighty punches, roll in two dice, plus one for the hunger, and uh, the energy blast guarantees that one of them is going, going to die, and the rest of that uh, knocked him out anyway. So two damage, brings us up two XP, and now what? Okay, so I've done one of my actions. I have three more. Well, we do have to make our way forward, so let's go one, uh, that's another action. Now, I actually would kind of prefer to go in another direction, let these guys come in and devour, but this is not currently the best way for me. Well, okay. The bystander's not going to block my movement, I don't think. So I'm going to start by just going after this guard. That was uh, my second, my third. Mighty punches. Can't uh, actually take out the bystander anyway. So rolling three dice. I need two hits, ooh, I didn't get it, because the guard's got two hit points. And I rolled a two, a two, and a four. Let's try this one more time. Mighty punches. There we go. So that's some damage. Gonna get an XP for it. And I've left J. Jonah uh, ripe for the chomping. I think Iron Man's the best one to do for this one. So I'm gonna go with Iron Man. Iron Man next, because Iron Man needs to chomp J. Jonah and get some XP. He's only at two XP. We need to get him into the yellow so he gets his extra action. All right, Iron Man attack. Doing a devour. Four plus one uh, is my second action. Rolling these dice. I just need one chomp, one hit to get this. Absolutely got it. Uh, J. Jonah's down. And on top of it, I get J. Jonah's ability, which is if enemies spawn within range two, before any rush, I may increase hunger to move one zone, ignoring enemies. This is gonna be really useful if I need to bounce or if I need to get into position. Okay, so J. Jonah's great. Glad to have him on board. Uh, but the main thing is, filled my belly. I'm up to seven, which means we're gonna get that extra action. So I've moved one, I've attacked. I've got now two more actions. I think. I'm gonna attack these guards. I don't really think I'm going to, oh yeah, my hunger goes down to zero. I don't think I'm gonna kill both of them. In fact, I can't kill both of them because Missile Wave is only rolling three dice. They've got some hit points, but there's a reason I'm doing it and you'll see why. Whoa, whoa, no. All right, rolling three dice. Okay, I got one hit, or I've got two hits, so one of them is down. That's cool, get an XP for that. But my Repulsor Blast, after attacking with Missile Wave, I may push all enemies in that zone into an adjacent zone. Uh, hmm. With push, I don't know if I can push them towards me. Thematically, it kind of seems like I wouldn't. Um, but, I don't know, let me double check. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check that. Give me one second, folks. I'll be right back. Well, I wasn't able to find it, but I feel like it says an adjacent zone. It doesn't say push them farther away from you. So I want to, maybe I'm wrong in this, but I'm gonna say that I'm actually pulling them into my current space. Um, so I moved, I attacked, I shot, I pulled them, I, I yoinked them into my space, and 
the reason I wanted to do that is because I wanted to make sure the Hulk had something to eat. Um, so one thing I could do, I could bust open one of these doors. That would reveal everyone, or specifically this door. That would reveal everyone in here. And, oh, that's enticing. But I'm worried if either of these are specialists, they'll be able to attack me. Well, no, they wouldn't. They'd be able to get into my, into my space. Oh, in that case. Okay, I'm gonna do it. My last action, bust in this door. So that's broken. And now we gotta reveal all of these guys. But I do think it's better to do this now. Oh, I should have done this in order. Well, let's start with what we got here. Troop Rush, uh, spawn and activate. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, six. So, they're trying to get to me. I can choose the order if, if it's, you know, the, the direction if there's two equal uh, spaces. Guard Rush, two guards, boom, boom. Um, I, oh, guards get an extra activation. So all guards. So <laughs> this guard's gonna attack one of us. Um, let's say Iron Man. And then all guards, all the other guards are moving. So move, move, move. Not ideal. And then, whoop, gotta reach all the way over. Uh, specialists. So. Two specialists up in the corner. Actually, the best place for specialists to have showed up. And then we got two bystanders as well. Ooh, we've got Okoye and Pepper Potts. Now, Okoye is different. You can see this little fist on the top right of her card means she is going to fight. She still can't be defeated, um, but she is basically the same as a guard. Or not a guard, uh, just a regular trooper. But on top of that, uh, she can be devoured, same as... Uh, some other, you know, the other um, bystanders, but she will be attacking. Pepper Potts, on the other hand, she's just got a briefcase. Uh, so, now granted, it does look like an Iron Man briefcase, but, uh, you know, she's she's not going to be able to fight. Not like, not like Okoye. It's... <sighs> However, that's the end of Iron Man's turn, and this is a very interesting position. Uh, going over to the Hulk, this is kind of what we wanted. Gonna move in for the first uh, action. Gonna devour for the second, but we'll only be able to defeat, you know, eat one of these guys, and then we'll have to uh, smash the others. I feel okay, I'm feeling okay. I think we're gonna be fine on this one. Um, so, devouring, five dice. Just need one, absolutely got it. One of these guys, chomp chomped. Hunger down to zero, gain one XP. Now we've got two left. Hulk's the strongest one there is. It says so right on his card. So when I smash, even though I'm only rolling three dice, uh, these guys only have one hit point uh, because I'm reducing their toughness. So let's see how this goes. This is my one, two, this is my third action. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, three hits. I actually wouldn't have minded a bite on this to improve my hunger, but here's what it is. Uh, taking down those two, one, two, I'm up to uh, 12, 12 XP. We're actually doing okay. Wouldn't mind getting to the orange, but once we get into the orange, the, the spawns get real rough. So that was one, two, three. I've got one more action. I don't wanna move anywhere. I'm just, I like that we're all in the same place, same place again, so I'm gonna grab another zombie trait. Uh, I got another submit to hunger. Do really like this card. It is pretty handy. And with that, we've got some uh, enemies coming in. Let's uh, let's do all these enemy activations. Let's do guards first. They move in. They'll move in again. Hulk's gonna take care of those, I think. And now, guards. Oh, we've got ten guards coming in. Uh, and then like these guys are all moving forward as well. Pepper Pot, She's trying to get to the exit, but she has to make it through us first. And now, we've got all of these folks here. Oh boy. Okay. This is a position. I think it's gonna be last turn because this is this is a big one. We've got all these folks here. We've got all these folks here. I am sitting on an Avenger sign. It's Avenger sign. We throw it like a frisbee, and what it does, it has a range of up to two. So we could throw it either here or here. 
And after we do that, we are going to uh, roll a die for every unit in the space and sitting on a four or higher. There are three, six, mm, mm, there's eight units because Okoye doesn't really count for this. There's eight units over here, there's 10 units over here. However, we want to go in this direction. That being said, I want to cover a retreat. So I think we want to use the Frisbee on these guys. Uh, I know that I want the Hulk to go to take care of these guards. So I'm going to start with the Hulk. Hulk's going to throw the Frisbee. I now have to roll 10 dice. Um, again, only got six. Uh, but I'm rolling this now because if Hulk uh, increases his hunger, that's only a good thing when it comes to uh, defeating those guards. So let's start with this. Uh, okay, so that's two hunger. Um, and currently one hit. Four more dice to roll. Okay, three more hits. So, we increased our hunger by two, fantastic. Ooh, I did forget to increase everyone's hunger at the beginning of this round though. So he's at three, he's, he's getting a little high up there. But I got four hits, so taking out four of these guards, that's not bad. Um, going up to 16. Second is gonna be attacking these guards. Uh, I'm doing a smash now, I've got three hungers, so I'm rolling all my dice. Whoop, 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 uh, okay. These guys have a hit, have one hit point. I'm not scared. I'm not. I promise I'm not scared. Uh, this is my second action. Oh, but I rolled, oh boy. Oh, I should have been scared, folks. I rolled three bites and no hits. So I, I'm, I'm ravenous now. Oh boy. Well, you know what? That was, I'm, I'm still in the space. I'm just gonna devour them. Well, devour one of them. Third attack, just gonna devour. Uh, yeah, I got it. One of them dead. It goes back to zero, which is not ideal, but I can use my last attack to just keep wailing on this guard. Rolling three dice for the smash, but I just need one hit. Just, I just need one hit, and I got it. One hit, this guard's down. Hulk did his job, up to 17 XP. Very close to leveling up again. Once Hulk levels up, he gets Thunderclap. Thunderclap, when attacking with smash, it's normal attack. I may replace my base dice with one die for each enemy in the zone, kind of like the Frisbee. Oh yeah, I forgot to flip the Frisbee to its damage side. You can only use this twice. Um, anyway, uh, so Thunderclap is really good for taking out swarms of enemies, but I don't quite have that yet. What I do have though, is an Iron Man, a man made of iron, uh, or so his PR department would say. And, what I want to do with this is attack them and suck them all into my position so we can keep wailing on them and, you know, uh, you know, move through it. Or, oh yeah, I could have used J. Jonah. I could have used J. Jonah's ability. Did I forget to spawn here? Well, whatever. If I did, it's fine. Um, no, I think they spawned and moved. Who knows, man? Who knows, man? I think I forgot to spawn. I, I definitely forgot to spawn enemies. Um, okay. I did forget to spawn enemies. I'm gonna do that real quick. See how rough and tumble these, the, the next part of it would be. A superhero shows up. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, we've got Thor, the mightiest Avenger. Well, no, not really. Um, everyone knows. But Thor's got five hit points in attack. We've got... Four troopers there, top right, top right. Troopers open fire. Ooh, boy, okay. So this is why it is really important that we had done this. Um, so troopers open fire. All of these troopers, they're gonna get to attack us. And they have a range of one, but they're rolling dice. So there's six of them in there. They're gonna be hitting on fives or higher. So we're gonna see how bad this is for us. Oh, why do I roll so well now? Uh, okay, so three of them hit. Let's just spread it out evenly, one, one, and one. Iron Man's not looking so great right now. Anyway, the last one uh, for right here is specialists. We got two specialists coming in right here. Okay, again, should have done that earlier, forgot to. 
Um, it would have been, oh, so much, so much easier for us if I hadn't remembered. Anyway, we're back. Where were we? Iron Man. Iron Man's going to attack these guys because going to hit them, suck them up into this spot, and then we're going to wail on them before going after the good, good objectives. Iron Man's got his Repulse Ray, Hulk's done, Captain Marvel hasn't gone yet. So we're going to do the uh, our Missile Wave over here, rolling four dice with our Hunger of One. It actually would have been better if we had a little bit more Hunger at the moment, but the point is really to get them into our space. So, wow, okay, three hits. That's not bad. One, two, three hits. You get the guards before the specialists. There's a, a priority on that. Um, sorry, the troopers before the specialists, uh, unfortunately. Otherwise, I absolutely would target the the specialists. So, one, two, three damage. Gives me three XP. And when you may push all enemies in that zone to an adjacent zone. Let's move them all into our space. Hello, folks. And let's keep attacking. Uh, so that was one action. Let's do it again. Didn't get any bites, so my hunger's the same. Uh, two more hits. Two more troopers down. Two. Doing it one more time. I think that should be all we need. Yeah, four more hits. That gets rid of the... Trooper and the two specialists. That's three more XP. Two, so 16. Again, we're all pretty close to orange. It's really good to have equal distribution of XP if you can. And then for this last one, ooh, I have the choice here. I could try and devour a Koye. Um, and if I do that, that'll put me up into the orange zone, um, which will give me evasive maneuvers. Which is after completing any attack that eliminates at least one enemy, I may perform one free move action. Ignoring enemies during that move. Really cool ability. But maybe I don't want it just yet. I think instead, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna take a move action. I'm trying to get towards that objective. So my last turn doing the move, Captain Marvel here, she got no qualms about uh, devouring Okoye, especially because the uh, Okoye is gonna fight. She's a fighting bystander, so let's devour with Captain Marvel as my first action, rolling three dice. Uh, four, I got a, a, a bite, but that doesn't matter because reducing my hunger to zero. Did one damage, which is enough to take her out. What does Okoye give me? That's, I should have looked at that, honestly, before I did this. Once during your turn, I may increase hunger, perform one free melee attack. That's excellent. Um, my hunger's down to zero. Uh, I have, let's see. I get five XP for that, boost me up to 17. Again, very close to orange, not quite crossed the line just yet. Her thing, the Danvers special, once during my turn, I may spend an action to move up to two zones, ignoring enemies, into a zone containing enemies, and then perform one free Mighty Punches attack. It's a really powerful ability. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to it, but again, trying to keep our danger level just below the, the threshold. And in the meantime, that was my first action, I'll go, Two, three, ooh, I could pick up that objective. But I think it's better to have that be the first thing I do on the next turn. Instead, I'm gonna grab a zombie trait. I already have two, so if I grab another one, I will choose one of these to replace if I wanna keep it, or I can just discard this one. Rotten strength, uh, enemies have minus one toughness. That is pretty good. But I do, let's see, both of these are about devouring. And Feast lets me hit more than one lunge movement. Hmm. I actually don't think this is uh, gonna be as good for me. This would be great for Hulk, because boosting the strongest one there is, that would be a great combo. But I think it's fine. I'm gonna stick with it. Now, on the next few turns, what we would see. Well, for ending there, uh, we've got these specialists moving in. These guards moving in. Hulk's in a precarious position. These guard, these uh, regular guys are there. These guys are there. Thor is coming in. And then we would spawn even more enemies to come in. We are doing okay as far as the number of enemy, like number of plastic units we still have available. Doing fine. So I think we would survive this for sure. And the things that would come up, we've got 
Trooper Rush, six troopers. Okay, so more troopers would be in Hulk space. Another superhero would show up, show up. Who would it be? It would be Ms. Marvel. Can attack from three zones away, though requiring line of sight. Um, that would be uh, pretty rough. Four more specialists would come in and more Trooper Rush. Oh boy, we would have a lot of troopers. We would have actually pulled in 14 troopers on the last one. I said we were okay and we would still, we have enough. But that's, that's rough. But anyway, I think this is a good place to leave you on. I think you've gotten a pretty good sense of the gameplay. And if you want to hear more about it, want to hear my final thoughts, or hear about and maybe the other missions that are in the book, um, click on the link in the top right corner to get those final thoughts. Or you can do the one in the show notes below. Your choice. Anyway, I'll see you folks there in three, two, one. Bye-bye.